All right, here's an example of how Avery's experiment was done. And to keep it consistent, we're going to use rats in this too. So here's Avery's experiment. <clears throat> he took the idea of a transforming factor that was figured out by Mr. Griffith. Here's Griffith's experiment. And Avery decided, well, I could conduct that experiment again. But Avery's experiment took place a decade and a half later. So we knew more about molecules than um, Griffith did. And Avery decided that there were really just three molecules that could potentially be large enough to store all of our genetic information. RNA, DNA, and protein. And so Avery set up an experiment where he was going to test which one of those, by process of elimination, must store the genetic material. And Avery took the smooth bacteria from Griffith's experiment and put it in each of his syringes. The, the smooth bacteria contained RNA, DNA, and protein. And Avery knew the smooth bacteria would kill the rats. And so what he did was he took that smooth bacteria that contained RNA, DNA, and protein, and he, by process of elimination, removed one component each time. He removed protein with protease. The ending ace always means an enzyme, and protease breaks down protein. RNase breaks down RNA, and DNase breaks down DNA. And so what Mr. Avery did was when he added the protease, it killed the protein. He injected the mouse and the mouse still died. So he said, okay, protein must not be the genetic material because the genetic material is what is killing the mouse and he's removed protein by adding protease to this vial, killed all the protein in there, and the mouse still died. Next up, he adds RNase and he adds RNase to the syringe. RNase kills all the RNA in the syringe he injects the mouse, and the mouse still dies. So he knows definitively RNA cannot be the genetic material. Now, at this point in time, he can be fairly confident that DNA is the genetic material, or that transforming factor, but he has to test it to be sure. So he takes his DNase, which kills DNA, and adds it to his syringe of bacteria. The DNase does its job and kills the DNA. He injects the mouse and the mouse lives, happy mouse. Therefore, proving that DNA is the genetic material. You'll have to be able to explain the significance of each step, what protease, RNase, DNase are, and why it matters that he added them to each vial on the final. Um, email me with any questions.